everyone, and welcome to this live broadcast. I'm Jenna Sackett, and I'm going to be going over all the back-to-school trends that you can profit with for the upcoming season. Did you know that they are um, project? Well, families are projected to spend 80.7 billion for 2019 back-to-school season, ranging from pre-K to college, right? And at the top of the list of things that they'll be purchasing other than the back to school accessories such as notebooks and pencils, at the top of the list in addition to that stuff is going to be custom or personalized apparel. Right, so we're gonna be diving into a lot of those trends today, talking about where we're sourcing the garments and accessories and how you can successfully personalize or custom print these items and apparel with just a heat press. The heat press we're gonna be using today is the Hotronics Fusion. Right, I always like to use this press, especially for long demos that incorporates a lot of different items that I'm going to be personalizing, especially with a wide variety of different products. Reason being, this has all of my product, product time, temperature, and pressure completely logged in this computer. So I won't have to guess what those application instructions are for each of the demonstrations today. Another reason is the I have the capability of interchanging this platen completely by picking this up and lifting it out. All right, so it's a very simple uh, press to use, and it's definitely a necessity for a variety of different reasons. One of the key things being is isolating a certain area of an item, so no seams, zippers, or any type of hardware getting it can get in the way of causing an uneven pressure. Another reason is the threadability. This whole section is completely open underneath the platen, so not only can I thread everything that I want to heat apply for a nice uh, application, but I have plenty of room underneath my platen so that if I have bulky items, such as a bag that we're going to be pressing later, that's going to be completely out of the way. So that's why I always go with the Hotronics Fusion for classes like these and demoing a broad range of products. I see some of you commenting in. Hi, Marco and Suzanne. Uh, I appreciate you guys commenting in. I always love seeing where you guys are joining from, so feel free to do that at any point throughout the broadcast. In addition to that, um, I also am going to be reviewing a lot of stuff. All right, I make mistakes. There are some, there are some times well, I, where I will skip over uh, where I sourced apparel from a vendor or supplier, so just feel free to comment in and ask me if I happen to skip over a product or uh, where the garments were sourced from. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and dive into the topic. Um, and we're gonna start with our first trend, which is varsity style. Now let's talk a little bit about what varsity style is. It's the incorporation of varsity stripes, all right? So you can see there on the model in the photograph there that uh, has the stripes around the sleeves. Now this is very common in um, not only fashion wear, as you can see that's sourced from a very popular uh, retail brand, but we're seeing it a lot in um, trends for back to school because what they see in retail, they like to reincorporate for things that they're wearing back to school. So I have listed there a lot of items that you can use to successfully decorate this trend. Uh, and I'll be demoing what products and what um, different transfer types you can utilize to really increase the value of a blank garment. All right, so the garment we're gonna be using for this exact trend for back to school is a spirit wear jersey. So it's kind of like a replica jersey of a football um, jersey. And it's completely 100% polyester. It has that true mesh. Now, this is definitely something a little more lighter weight than a football jersey, so it's really geared towards spirit wear and fan wear. But one thing we need to keep in mind as heat printers is dye migration whenever we're working with polyester like this. All right, so this is maroon. It's heavily dyed, um, and we need to make sure that we're blocking that whenever we're going to be decorating it. So we're going to head to the press and load it on our platen so that we can get a nice flat pressure. Now, this is another, this is a prime example of why you would like to thread a garment. These mesh holes, all right, if I were to just lay these right on top and then apply my um, transfer, the adhesive from the um, transfer will actually 
go through the holes, stick to the back of the shirt, and then I would have to worry about peeling that apart. Right? That's something that I'm not going to have to worry about if I'm just threading because my platen is, has a non-stick um, cover on it that's going to allow the adhesive to adhere to only the jersey, and then I won't have to worry about the adhesive sticking to this. All right, so we're going to thread that on. And of course, we want to cover because of the dyes in the garment when we do our preheat. Usually a lot, three seconds for the preheat, one to three seconds. Just something quick to get the heat to the garment so that we're releasing moisture and wrinkles from the fabric. I'm going to be using CAD Cut Thermofilm. If you guys are working with stalls now, you're probably very familiar with the product. It is our number one seller, specifically for decorating for contact sports. It's very abrasion resistant, but the reason we're using it for spirit wear for this particular uh, jersey is because it has a dye inhibitor in it. So it's gonna block any of those dyes from the maroon jersey from migrating through our white transfer and then uh, turning it maybe like a pink or a dark red or something like that. All right, that applies for six to eight seconds at 330 degrees. And it's a hot peel, so as soon as that's complete, I can peel that carrier back and then my design is done and it's ready to be sold. All right, so you can see, I'm gonna hold this up nice and close to the camera, that that uh, material act actually takes on the texture of the mesh of the jersey, which is why this is another really hot seller because it makes it even more athletic. So it has a nice athletic feel to it. It's keeping those um, dyes from migrating through and keeping that true white that we need to be able to sell um, for a high quality price, All right? So I do see some comments questioning, Sam Morgan, what type of transfer are you using? It's our CAD cut thermofilm, all right? And the thermofilm is 330 degrees for application. All right, so compared to a lot of different heat transfer vinyls that we'll be showing today, that's a little bit on the higher end, but you have to keep in mind, whenever we're using it, we wanna use it for contact sports and 100% polyester mesh, which is very durable and does not scorch under high heat. So just keep that in mind. It's not something you really need to worry about if you're just using it for those types of applications, right? Not only does it apply to 100% polyester mesh, but also any cotton or cotton poly blend. So if you wanna use it beyond just the uh, realm of jerseys, you have the option to use it for that as well, right? In addition to the jersey, if you're looking for an accessory to sell with it so that you can pair them together for a packaged price, Beanies are another hot seller, especially for the fall season, whenever we're getting into tailgating and football games and everything, right? For this application, I'm gonna be using our CAD Prince Twill, right? So it has the applique look, uh, but you're able to get full color, amazing gradients, it offers awesome opacity, and it can apply to a variety of different substrates, right? So beanies can be a tricky application, so we are gonna take extra precaution whenever we're applying heat to this beanie, All right? So what we're gonna do is first swap out our platen. The 11 by 15 is a little too big to uh, lay this whole thing on there because we wanna isolate just one certain area. So I'm gonna be working with our four by four platen. Again, threading the beanie on. And I'm gonna put this off to the side so that it's not directly center of the beanie. Just a popular placement whenever you're adding custom prints to headwear. All right, so I'm right on the edge of where my silicone pad for the platen is. And I'm going to um, make sure that this isn't stretching too much because if the, um, the ribbed piece of the beanie is spread too far apart. It'll heat apply like that and it will distort it. So we wanna make sure that this isn't stretched too much whenever we're placing this down. Right, another accessory in addition to the platen that we're going to use to protect this from melting is a um, flexible application pad. 
All right, that's how we have branded this silicone cover sheet. So if you're looking to purchase this, you can find it on our website under flexible application pad. What it does is absorbs really high heat to protect items from melting. So whenever we apply our CAD Prince Twill, this is going to keep it from melting the beanie and we'll get a nice application. Now before I apply for the full application, I wanna make sure I'm testing my pressure to make sure it's at the right um, amount of PSI per um, the whole section, all right? So it looks like my press is reading it's at a three. I want that to go a little bit higher, so I'm gonna increase that, all right? And what I need to do now is increase an additional 10 seconds from the original application. So this actually um, applies at 25 seconds if it's going to be laundered, all right? Since it is headwear, we are going to apply it for um, 30 seconds for that full application. All right, the blank apparel items that I just decorated, just so that we're not overlooking that, it's going to, um, those were both sourced from Sanmar. So the jersey itself was sourced from, um, I'm actually gonna bring that up because I can't remember exactly what brand. It is Sport Tech, right? So Sport Tech is the brand and you can find that through Sanmar, All right? And Cad Prince does not come with a carrier. So we don't have to worry about removing that, but you can see that it's completely applied and my beanie is not melted or anything. It stayed true to its, um, well, we didn't really compromise the finish of the beanie. So we're able to increase sales with this beanie. We don't have to just sell it blank in addition. We have the capability of actually personalizing or custom printing this. You can do it with Cad Prince Twill. I like to use the Cad Prince Twill specifically because it has its own type of twill texture, which it really mimics the um, high quality that embroidery offers as well, which is typically how these are done. But we don't need an embroidery machine for this. If you have a heat press, all you have to do is order the transfer and then you can successfully heat apply any type of transfer to it. All right, again, I like using the Cad Prince Twill specifically for this because it has texture and adds a little bit more dimension to the beanie but you can use other products as well. All right, so again, the jersey was sourced from Sport Tech, and then our beanie was sourced from, I believe, District, but let me double check. Nope, this one was Sport Tech as well, okay? So the reason I selected this one is because I thought it paired perfectly with the jersey because it has the varsity striping both on the cap and on the jersey so they go together as uh, a perfect set so that you can uh, get an overall price for the both of them all right then not only do you increase profitability that way but you also build more quality to your brand by uh, coming off as a one-stop shop for your customers all right kc swagger can it handle this stretch um, no, so actually twill doesn't stretch, but it's not going to crack or peel whenever this is stretched or anything because it is a twill. It's not gonna move with it, but it's not going to stop it from stretching either. It's just going to stay static right in that area, area where it's heat applied. All right, good question. All right, all right. Looks like I answered all the other questions. Okay, so uh, that concludes the applications we're going to do for the varsity trend. So just to revisit that um, trend, the incorporation of varsity stripes, lettering and numbering, all right? So twill goes beyond just the Cad Prince twill we offer. Sim Stitch is another great opportunity for this trend. Um, and then of course, incorporating other outerwear. So whenever we consider varsity stylings, not only are they gonna be wearing this to school, but also sporting events and everything as well. So outerwear such as bomber jackets are really popular right now um, and sweatshirts as well. Just anything that's really incorporating the striping and, and numbering and everything like that. All right, so our next trend that we're going to touch for back to school um, is retro inspired prints, all right? So this is the use of vintage-like um, shirts, and we're just 
doing, um, creating elements that have a retro look um, or offering to them. So novelty graphics from like the 70s or 90s are very popular for this. And one of those things uh, that I noticed was patching. All right, so patches are coming back in style, um, not just for caps or other items, but on shirts as well, as you notice from the pool and bear um, demonstration you saw on that slide there. So we are going to be doing a patch type transfer on a retro tee. So, uh, or sorry, not retro tee, ringer tee. All right, so ringer tees were very popular um, and now they're coming back around full circle. They're uh, a really big trend right now. So being able to personalize these with a retro style uh, design is really gonna speak to that trend right now. So patches in another one, patches is one, but some of the other ones are drop shadow prints uh, using colors like yellow and orange, just anything that really relates back uh, to where retro really started in the 70s and 80s. Uh, even starting to see 90s trends um, come back as well. All right. So I'm going to load uh, my 16 by 20 black back onto the Fusion. It's going to drop right in there, and then I can uh, lock it in place. All right, this ringer tee was sourced from Boxercraft. It's 100% cotton, so it's going to be compatible with every uh, type of transfer out there. All right, just making sure that collar is off so we're getting a nice even pressure. We're going to do a quick preheat and test our pressure. All right, I'm at a nice medium pressure, where, which is where I need it to be exactly for our principal glitter. All right, so this glitter is compatible with solvent, eco solvent, or latex printers. Or if you don't have a printer like that in house, you can send us your art and we will print it on our CAD Prince glitter and send it to you just like this, ready to heat apply. All right, so I'm going to use this as a left chest logo placement. And how I'm finding uh, my placement for that is center of where my seam meets my collar and dropping down roughly six inches, depending on the size of the shirt. This is a large, so I think this placement is perfect, especially since this is for a cheer team and it's a ladies tee. We do want that left chest logo to be a little bit higher. All right, this is going to apply at 300 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. So I can go ahead and drop my temperature back down from, or not temperature, time back down from the um, 30 seconds I had for the twill. Cad Prince Glitter Flake is a hot peel, so I can peel that back. As soon as I find a place to put my cover sheet. There we go. All right, so we'll peel that back. And it's complete. All right, so very quick application. A hot peel always makes it nice for uh, production efficiency so that you can apply and then just complete that um, as soon as it's done at, after that 10 seconds. So you can really see that glitter texture whenever the light hits it. And not only is this good, obviously, for a cheerleading market, but there are a lot of other markets that this reaches to. So this doesn't just have to be for cheerleading. It can be um, for spirit wear, dance, uh, children's apparel. Uh, moms love it whenever they're wearing their um, T-shirts for to their children's games, anything like that. So this speaks to a lot of markets, and it nothing really beats being able to get multiple colors of glitter in a design and really have that high shine that glitter is known for. All right, so very popular way to uh, reach that retro type of uh, trend. All right, so let's revisit that. 
how you can uh, successfully heat print uh, this trend. So um, screen print transfers, our division, uh, Transfer Express, that does screen print transfers. Goof proof is very popular. Uh, it has that nice uh, ink that feels amazing on any type of garment you apply it to. Uh, and then, of course, our heat transfer vinyl, patterns, fashion film, printable glitter. All right, so you um, can actually see in that uh, T-shirt from Pool and Bear that they were doing some really nice embroidery work all over that to really mimic the look of the patches. All right, so um, just keep in mind the CAD Prince Twill would be another great option to mimic the look of patches as well. All right. So some other questions commenting in. Um, Deborah asked, came in late, what did you use on the stretchy hat? That was our CAD Prince Twill. And uh, the Fusion does, didn't come with the stylus. Can I purchase it? That's a great question. I actually don't know. But if you call Hotronics, they'll be able to answer that for you. All right. So next trend is athleisure. So this is, I mean, it just continues evolving. They're constantly incorporating athleisure into fashion wear everywhere. Retail, uh, custom apparel, you will see athleisure uh, being incorporated. And we need to know how we can successfully heat print it because we're constantly seeing these types of substrates that are incorporating uh, performance poly, um, rayon, spandex, lycra. So we need to be able to successfully heat print those without scorching or even just knowing what type of finish to put on them so you can compete with some of the retail brands out there that are just using basic screen print ink. All right, so what can you do to differentiate yourself when offering athleisure since we're seeing it across the board just everywhere? All right, so we, I have an example here from Boxer Craft. All right, this is a tri-blend t-shirt that we applied with our um, CAD Cut High Viz Reflective. All right, so if you're not familiar with this reflective, it actually is a color, and then whenever a bright light hits it, such as a flash of a phone or even car lights, it will shine bright silver. All right, so of course, a left chest placement uh, is pretty much just a standard placement, but where else can we print on this shirt to build more profitability? All right, that's why I'm, I always talk about unique placements and garments. What can you go beyond your typical um, basic placement, such as a left chest or a full front, to add more value and unique, uniqueness to your brand? All right, so one placement that I noticed trending a lot um, that is very easy to do with a heat press is a low back hemline placement. So we're gonna load this on our 16 by 20 there, and I'm gonna take a matching logo with that high-vis color reflective and drop it on that low placement so that there is a um, additional uh, profit opportunity there for you. All right, high-vis applies for 330 degrees at 330 degrees for 25 seconds. We're gonna increase our time there. And apply for that full application. All right, Jason asked, how do you get the multicolor design in the CAD Prince Twill? All you have to do is upload your artwork and we will print it for you ready to heat apply. So this isn't actually something, um, this is actually just a service that we offer. Of course, if you have a laser cutter, you have the ability to cut our twill in house and then sublimate it if you wanna add color to it. But we take all of that, um, all of those steps out for you if you just send us the artwork and we'll print it for you so that you can just heat apply it. Right, it's a hot peel and we can just move on to another placement at that point if we want to. So we already have our left chest done and this is the last placement that I'm going to add to this t-shirt. Right, I have it, there we go. Right, 
So you can see that we were able to successfully heat print this garment, all right, without any scorching. And our high vis color reflect is extremely, um, it, it's a big demand in the fashion industry right now. We're seeing uh, reflectivity being incorporated in a lot of outerwear, fashion wear, just really across the board, <clears throat> excuse me, even if it's just a little element um, like striping or piping down the sleeve, reflective is being uh, incorporated everywhere. So you being able to custom choose what reflective you put on your apparel for your customers will really go a long way. All right, so if we wanna create a um, ultimate piece, but we don't want to have to put reflective on everything, there is another solution we have uh, known as CAD Cut Premium Plus. So this is a nice low temp material. So um, I'm gonna speak to why this didn't scorch uh, with the reflective here in a second, but I want to um, heat press a really heat sensitive garment that's also from Boxercraft because it has a very high percentage of uh, rayon in it. So the higher the rayon in a tri-blend, the more heat sensitive it is to high heat. So that's whenever we want to consider the amount of temperature we're using for a specific garment. So we were able to do this one at 330 because the rayon content was a little bit lower. But for this one, since it's higher, we want to be able to drop our temperature down to 280, which is considered a low temp solution for heat sensitive fabrics. That's why we're going to go with CAD Cup Premium Plus for this. All right, so I'm going to unload my 16 by 20 and put on my leg and sleeve platen. This is a six by 20 platen, so it makes it very easy to load um, sleeves of hoodies and other garments, and then of course, pant legs of sweatpants um, and some leggings, right? Since I'm going to be working against this pocket here and the seams inside of there, I'm gonna pull that out and make sure that's dropped off to the side so I can heat apply the area. I wanna put the custom logo and um, have a nice flat, even pressure. All right, so of course we want to test our pressure and preheat our garment. So we're gonna do that now. Anytime you load in a new accessory or a new plat, and you want to make sure you're doing that uh, test of your pressure to make sure it's not too heavy or too light for the application to work. All right, we're going to take our transfer, apply it. Again, this is CAD Cut Premium Plus. It applies at 280 degrees for 10 to 12 seconds. So I'm going to drop all of that and apply. Now it is a medium, light to medium pressure, so anytime you are um, working with a hot tronics machine, a light pressure reads anywhere between one and three, and a medium pressure reads anywhere between four and seven. Now I am working with the Premium Plus High Tack, which is why we were able to achieve pretty nice detail in that custom logo, so we can peel that carrier back hot right? Premium Plus High Tech is a hot peel. But you'll notice that I was being very careful how quickly I peeled that carrier back. Reason being, uh, Premium Plus does have a very high stretch and rebound to it, and it can easily be distorted when, if I pull it back too quickly. So we want to make sure that we are not uh, distorting that while it's still hot and pulling that back too fast. Okay, so it has a very nice matte finish. And if you're looking for a garment, or not a garment, a transfer that feels most likely like a screen print ink, um, then this is gonna be your go-to. It's very soft and suede-like. It has a very nice feel on any type of garment. Um, and it is, it's perfect for those low run jobs where you need something that feels very similar to a screen print because you don't want to obviously burn a screen for something very low run. So just keep that in mind. There is a solution out there that's CAD Cut Premium Plus, right? Not only that screen printing, but also that low temp solution that you need for uh, garments that can scorch. 
All right, so that concludes the athleisure trend. So, so far we did varsity stylings, retro print, and now um, athleisure. All right, so I'm just gonna visit some questions over here. All right, so Tabitha, what color and type of vinyl is on the black tee hanging on the wall? And, uh, Okay, Jason's answering someone else. All right, awesome. Okay, Tabitha, this is our uh, patterns material. All right, so this is a already fully digitally printed heat transfer vinyl that you can cut your logos out of um, or your graphics for your t-shirts. So this pattern that has that gradients in there was uh, pre-printed and then all I did was took that roll and loaded it into the vinyl cutter. So there is a, there's an entire category dedicated to gradients patterns. And even better than that, you get to choose what colors go into the pattern. So I uh, specifically requested the white fading to gray, um, but you can choose any color that you want. So if you're decorating for a school, you can put their school colors in there and then the pattern will come with this gradient that has those colors that you selected. And there's a, a, a large variety of uh, gradient patterns that you can choose from, right? So you can just find that right under the pattern section on our website. All right. All right, next trend is transitional outerwear. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, this trend, um, it's really evolved as well. So we mentioned that athleisure continues to evolve. This is another one that um, decorators, <clears throat> apparel manufacturers continue to uh, stay innovative with. All right. One thing about outerwear is we get into some um, really unique garments and unique substrates. And I'm just going to take a drink real quick, so bear with me. Okay. All right, so um, one of those um, hard to print substrates is nylon, all right? Sometimes it can be very hard to successfully print nylon because one, uh, it's not always the cheapest thing to try to heat print, so we don't wanna compromise or lose money on something. Um, and then you wanna make sure that the transfer you're applying to the nylon is actually going to adhere and hold well. All right, so the transfer we're going to be applying and the garment we're going to be applying. All right, first, let's start with the garment. We're gonna be using Quick Flip Apparel. All right, Quick Flip, uh, as recently seen on Shark Tank, they stayed completely innovative with the outerwear that they are offering. Um, and they did a dry flip jacket, which is 100% nylon that keeps you nice and dry whenever you are out in the rain or uh, doing anything regarding water, okay? So the transfer we applied is Gorilla Grip. All right, Gorilla Grip 2 is a Stahl's heat transfer vinyl that has an adhesive that can adhere to nylon and not crack or wash off in the wash cycle, all right? Or even when water is hitting it, all right? So it's very resistant against that and it's very durable, okay? It also is very thin and lightweight. So. That's another consideration for certain um, outerwear garments that you're choosing to use uh, or custom print is this is going to be extremely durable and it's very fashion forward. It's thin, lightweight, has a true matte finish. So that's why it's one of the uh, top selections for heat printing nylon. All right, so that is one really cool, unique placement, being able to do a pocket print. All right, I was able to just lay this right on the platen using a pillow, and now I still have the use of the pocket. Nothing melted, the zipper didn't melt, it didn't damage or anything. All right, but what other ways can we profit with this jacket? I always say the more areas of a garment that you can personalize, the more profit opportunity that will create for you. All right, so let, I'm going to do a sleeve placement, and then I'm gonna show you a really unique placement. So if you guys are not familiar with Quick Flip Apparel, I'm gonna show you a really unique thing they've done with this garment. All right, so we have the leg and sleeve already loaded on there. So all I have to do is unzip that a little bit and thread on the sleeve that I want to personalize. Make 
make sure I get those tight wrinkles out. There we go. All right, wanna make sure that I'm doing a preheat. I'm gonna take my Gorilla Grip Transfer, all right? So you can see it has kind of like a milky carrier, right? It is not a sticky carrier, so you wanna be careful how much detail you are putting in the design. And then this is about the shoulder right here, so I'm gonna drop this down just a bit. And then heat apply for its full application. So Gorilla Grip applies for uh, 15 to 20 seconds and it is, um, the temperature is 325 degrees. Actually, I'm going to correct myself. Gorilla Grip does not apply for 15 to 20 seconds. It applies for five seconds. Then it is a cold peel, and then we will apply again for an additional 10 seconds to cure the adhesive to the product. All right, so this is a two-step application at the heat press. So our first application is gonna be that five seconds. We're gonna wait for that to cool. It is not a hot peel. So I'm just going to drop this below the platen to get it away from that heat and let it cool. I can peel that back. Load it back on. And then we'll cure that for the additional 10 seconds. All right, again, this is Quick Flip Apparel. That is where this garment was sourced from. All right, and now our sleeve print is complete. All right, no scorching on the nylon. All right, that's one concern a lot of heat printers have is will the nylon melt under high heat? All right, nylon is a very durable product, so don't steer away from nylon if you do get a request for it. There is a solution of adhesive that will cure to it and not come off in the wash cycle. And in addition to that, it's gonna feel great it's gonna build great quality of the product and a high perceived value. All right, now keep in mind, we've only done two placements, all right? So you have an entire back and hood and everything to work with if you wanna add more placement to this. For the sake of time, I'm gonna just do um, one more placement with this and show you why this product is so unique and why it's trending so largely in our industry. All right, so not only does it have um, twice the branding, all right? But it also has twice the functionality, right? This jacket turns into a backpack or a cinch bag, if you will. All you do is turn it inside out, put it inside the bag that is located on the back of the jacket, and then cinch it, and you, it's a bag now, all right? So, that is why this is such a popular product um, and why it's trending so largely. Not only can I print and brand the jacket, but now I have another uh, garment or item within a garment that I can brand as well. All right, so we're going to unload our six by 20 and brand that just to see how easy it is to still load onto a heat press with that jacket being inside of the bag. So I'm gonna put on my six by 10 platen, lock that into the press. And as I mentioned earlier, this uh, bulk of the bag is going to just drop below the platen where that threadability is. So I have a nice flat surface to work with now, right? So nothing getting in the way of causing an uneven pressure. Now I will point out that there is a pocket on the inside of this. So just make sure you're aware of those seams in there that could cause uneven pressure, right? And just make sure that you're not pressing right on top of that. 
All right, this is the next transfer we're going to be doing. Now, before I apply this, I want to make sure I'm doing my preheat and testing my pressure since I loaded in a new platen. We're just going to repeat those same steps that we did with the sleeve print. That's hilarious, Tabitha. I was actually thinking the same thing. Like, of course, I didn't come up with it, but it is the coolest thing to uh, see come into custom apparel. All right, again, this is quick flip apparel. We tack for five seconds, and now we're going to cure for that additional 10. And then the garment will be complete. All right, so, um, and that's why this garment is trending so much. I know I keep repeating myself, but twice the branding, twice the function, the more areas of the garment you can press with this, with someone's logo or school name or anything like that, this is going to go a very, very long way. And just because of how cool it is, they'll be willing to pay a really great price for such a quality product, all right? I know that uh, even though you can't really feel this, it's such a very durable nylon, and you can tell that it's very high quality. It's not just like a coach's jacket or a bomber jacket. It has a very nice nylon that's very thick and has very uh, a high perceived value, right? Now, whenever I'm done with the bag, all I have to do is push that out. And we can go back to the jacket and we have our custom print everywhere else that we did before. All right. Our next trend is performance wear. All right, so this commonly gets confused with athleisure. All right, so they do kind of go hand in hand because they use a lot of the same substrates. However, you want to approach each trend a little bit differently because performance wear really speaks to um, working out, a lot of athletic wear, such as um, a volleyball team, a cheerleading team, anyone that is actually going to a practice and sweating. So you're going to be looking at a lot of moisture wicking apparel, um, but that is still trendy. Right? So the garments that we're going to be using today are um, a poly performance, and we're going to be using a new product known as soft opaque. So I've already applied it to this tank top, right? So Soft Opaque is an awesome product. It is 45 micron thin. So whenever you're comparing that to some of the full, uh, some of the other digital products you're familiar with, it is actually half the thickness of those other products. All right, so it looks amazing, feels amazing, and you can apply it to any color garment. All right, so this is it on this polyester electric heather tank top. This was sourced from Sport Tech, also from Sanmar. And we're going to be pairing it with a Sport Tech legging as well. All right, so we're going to hop back to that leg and sleeve platen. And load on our garment. All right, this is a 100% polyester legging here. Again, this is the same brand that that tank top was from, which again is Sport Tech. And the soft opaque is just gonna feel amazing on this because it is so thin. All right, so you'll notice whenever I'm printing the leggings, I'm going to go more towards the edge of the leggings because I want it to be on the hip and down uh, close to the side of the legging. So I'm gonna reposition a bit here. Making sure there are no wrinkles so that there aren't any mistakes in the application. All right, this applies at 310 degrees for 10 to 15 seconds. So we're gonna make sure our application is correct here. Since I am doing a performance poly, I'm going to make sure I drop this to the lowest dwell time, which would be that 10 seconds. 
Now, I forgot to do my preheat and test my pressure, so I'm going to do that now. Matthew asked, can you get a quick flip wholesale? As of right now, I'm not sure. Um, I know it's something whenever I talked with quick flip that they were planning to do, uh, but that was a few months back. But if you visit their website, I'm sure it will say whether or not they are wholesale yet. All right, because I am on a stretchy fabric, I'm just going to hold that down as I'm peeling this back since it is a hot peel so that it does not distort that artwork. All right, so the leggings to be paired with that tank top are complete, no scorching, has a nice lightweight feel on there, and it's gonna be very comfortable to wear to practice, and even beyond practice, just be able to represent the team that they are working with. I'm going to do one more placement on an accessory um, that is gonna be a really nice pair for these two, in addition to the package we've already created with the tank top and the leggings. So Sport Tech created a headband, all right, that is 100% polyester, and uh, they've done a lot of different colors so that you can reach different schools with these headbands. All right, so I'm just gonna load this right on the edge of my plat in there and do that same exact step and custom print the headband for the school team. Sorry about that. <laughs> Joe, our videographer, is looking at me like I'm losing it. <laughs> Just an FYI. <laughs> All right, so um, Marcy asks, was that a printable vinyl on the leggings? Yes, Marcy, it was. That is our new product, Soft Opaque. All right, again, that is our thinnest product that we offer, 45 microns thin, which is half the thickness of the um, other printable products that you are familiar with now. All right, so that headband is complete. And now I can create a, an overall package, right? Whether this is for fundraising or just doing the team's uh, per, um, athletic wear or practice wear, maybe it's camp wear. This is going to be a really great option, all right? So again, if you're doing a lot of full color, then Soft Opaque is one of those awesome products. 310 application, it's thin, it's lightweight, and it has amazing opacity, and it does not fade. So, so far, all the products we reviewed last 50 washes, which is considered to be the life of a garment, all right? So you don't have to worry about customers coming back with the products not working. All right. All right, Monica, that's awesome. Um, I read that a little bit earlier whenever I was heat printing. That's really cool. I think that arm sleeve placements um, are a great option if you're doing an additional placement to maybe a left chest or even a full front. All right, they offer a lot of profitability, profitability um, to any customer type. All right, our next trend is uh, pin picks. All right, so this is a little unique, but this is stuff that is trending in, on Pinterest for personalization. All right, so a lot of bags and accessories fall into this category. Um, and Pinterest is where a lot of people go to pull inspiration, whether it be um, for the gym, whether it be for apparel uh, or fashion wear. And this is where we pulled a lot of this information from um, and one brand or company that is doing wholesale items very well that fit this um, pin picks uh, that's trending, uh, the stuff that's trending on Pinterest, and um, also for back to school. So it goes beyond just the realm of what people are seeing online and what's trending there, but also what's being incorporated in back to school. So um, wholesale boutique are, is where I source the items we're going to be pressing. Uh, with personalization. All right, so that's one thing we haven't had the opportunity of doing just yet. 
Um, but what uh, market I want to speak to specifically with who um, Wholesale Boutique reaches very well is um, collegiate, all right? So tailgating, whether it's just for a football game or something, or even just to go to the game beyond just tailgating. Um, a lot of uh, regulations are passed for stadiums where they need to have um, a clear item with their, where they're carrying their stuff in to even be able to enter. All right, so they've done the clear accessories very well. Um, and it goes beyond just the uh, collegiate or professional realm. This is something that's also being incorporated into schools now from pre-K to high school. All right, they're passing those regulations where it has to be clear so they can see what you're carrying through the doors. Um, so they're doing backpacks and a lot of other accessories like tote bags and purses. So definitely get on there if this is something that your customers are requesting because it is now being passed as a regulation. All right, so I'm going to show you how you can custom print this with a heat press, even though this plastic is there. So we're going to unload the 6x20 and get our 6x10 back on there. And we're going to, typically, and we have it loaded like this, we're going to load it like this today. We're going to drop this on there with the plastic off the edge. And then we also wanna take into consideration all of this hardware. All right, so yeah, although the plastic is probably still gonna get hit with that upper plat and we're, we still have a solution for that, uh, but we're gonna be using two accessories in addition to this uh, six by 10 plat. And so I have a print perfect pad here that I'm going to load in here so that we can raise the area we want to press making sure that my design fits on there. All right, it doesn't, so let me grab a different size. All right, so I don't have one completely long enough, so we're just going to place two in there. They have the same thickness, so it's going to do the same job by just using two. All right, we'll move that over to the side and then load in our other one. There we go. All right, now my zipper is completely falling off the edge in the back. So now this area is completely raised. All right, my zipper is going to drop back completely. And now I can heat apply my transfer. Now, another thing we need to take into consideration is the plastic. We're going to use that same flexible application pad we did earlier um, to keep that from melting. All right, now my pressure is going to change drastically since I changed my plat in and I'm using those Print Perfect pads. So I'm going to make sure I'm at the right pressure. The product that I'm using for this is Fashion Film Electric. And it applies for 10 seconds. That got a five second application, so I'm gonna hit that for an additional five. And then I can peel that carrier back because Fashion Film is a hot peel. All right, you can see that the plastic did not melt and I was able to customize my wristlet. All right, specifically the fashion film that I use, if, you're, if the light's picking that up for you guys, um, it has an opal or pearlescent type of finish to it. All right, this is one of our fashion film electric products that picks up that sheen um, in that pearl type of finish. All right. To pair with that, we're going to do a tailgate tote, All right? You can see why it's a tailgate tote. You can fit literally anything in here. Um, and the reason I wanted to show this specifically was because um, it's very simple to personalize this, especially with threadability. So um, you can really do any type of item uh, that you want to heat apply because there really are no limits 
with heat transfer and a heat press. Right? Now this is a sublimated bag, so what's one thing we need to consider at this point, is this going to migrate through my transfer? What's nice about Fashion Film Electric is it has that natural um, blocking for sublimated garments. It just has that within it, so it's not going to let the uh, navy migrate through and create the pattern in there. Now you'll notice I'm not doing a preheat when I'm doing these accessories. It's because they're not going to be laundered, so they don't actually require a preheat. I'm just gonna repeat that same application again because I'm just using that Fashion Film Electric, same as what I used on the wristlet. And it's a hot peel, so I can peel that back. And now I can sell them individually or as one. All right, so I'm going to hold that up so that you guys can get a good view of that. All right, so if you don't want to just do plain white or a plain um, color, Fashion Film Electric really stands out on these pattern products. All right, it gives it a nice metallic finish and really offers a unique look whenever the light hits it different ways. All right, some questions coming in. I'd love to see uh, the mint cheer close up. Is that design available? Okay, so this design was uh, created in CADWORKS Live, and again, we use that uh, soft opaque for it, so it's very thin and lightweight. Uh, all I did was repeated cheer combined the contour, and then just added a gradient to it, and then just dropped Connellsville, Connellsville Spartans right over top. All right, so again, just created in CADWORKS by using the gradient option that we offer uh, within the um, fill of color in there, All right? Then we just printed it off um, within EcoSolvent Printer. Patty, does anyone know um, of a buy in group or wholesale boutique? I don't think we can meet their requirements. Um, Patty, can you uh, just kind of elaborate on what the requirements are? I don't think I'm familiar with those, but it would be good to know for future reference. All right. Another reason that we use uh, craft paper, you can see that sublimation completely transferred to this. This is a very uh, easy throwaway, so I'm just going to toss that off to the side so that we don't use that. Okay, last but not least is our children's wear. Okay, children's fashion continues to trend, all right, and it's getting very unique. Um, it's offering a lot of custom graphic tees uh, with a lot of different elements, um, even incorporating some pop culture and um, just really fashion forward finishes. So for this application, I'm going to be showing you a three-color heat transfer vinyl design. We're going to be using the Fashion Film Electric, which you just saw on our products. What's nice about Fashion Film Electric is that it has a two-second tack. So whenever we are working with um, multiple colors in a design, that's really what we want to look for in a heat transfer vinyl is does it offer that quick application with that two second tack. All right, fashion film does, so all it does is take two seconds to tack a layer, and then whenever you get to your last application, you will apply for the full recommended time. So we're gonna load on our children's tee. This is from Cavio, right? They do a lot of very trendy apparel for children. And whenever you are thinking about what you want to apply first, always go with the largest part of your design. Okay, so I'm going to start with our Cotton Candy Fashion Film Electric. Make sure I grab a cover sheet, a new one that doesn't have the sublimation on it. Again, that's just two seconds. All 
I can peel that. Gonna go in with my electric grape. Apply that for two. That is a hot peel. What's nice about the hot peel, other than just being able to speed up production, we're also keeping the heat transfer vinyl from shrinking under high heat. So if you've ever experienced applying a design and your registration not lining up accurately, it's most likely because the heat transfer vinyl shrunk whenever you applied it for its full dwell time. Right? The longer heat transfer vinyl is under the high heat for, the more likely it is to shrink and the tacking method is going to eliminate that from happening. All right. Now, since I'm applying the last application, which happens to be my CAD cut patterns, I'm going to apply for the full application. All right, that's going to be 10 seconds. All right. And although patterns in fashion film do apply at a different temperature, I just go with the highest temperature of material uh, for that application. So since fashion film applies at 320 degrees, even though patterns applies at 300, I'm still going to use that 320 because it's okay for patterns to apply um, at that higher temp. Right? And now my design is complete. Right, so bright colors, text heavy garments are what's really trending in uh, apparel for children. All right, graphic tees, custom designs, anything that is bright and eye catching. All right, Cavio is doing children's apparel very well. All right, so keep that in mind whenever you're thinking of the back to school trends if you are hitting a younger dem demographic. Um, and then also, they don't only reach the younger demographic, but they go beyond that. They get into juniors and ladies as well. So they're doing very retail um, and fashion forward garments, right? So we've managed to reach a full hour. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys so much for sticking around. Just to review, we have gone over some of the top trends that we're noticing for the back to school season. This is going to be um, on our Facebook page, so if you need to watch back to see some of the products, um, this is gonna stay there. It's also gonna be uploaded to our YouTube channel so you can visit it there as well. Um, I will be sure to get to all of your questions, so if you have any other questions, feel free to comment those in and I will revisit this broadcast to answer those. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you next time.